Hi there. Now, for part C, we've got to use integration then to find E of X, the expected value of X for four marks. So you might uh, like to uh, pause the video if you haven't had a go at this question. And uh, when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So to do something like this, what we've got to do then is remember that the expected value of x is always going to be equal to the integral of x times the probability density function f of x. And this is integrated with respect to x. And in this example, it's going between the limits x equals 1 to x equals 2. Now, we have f of x from part b of this question. So if we just pull out the constant 3 tenths out the front of the integral, it'll make it a lot easier. Then we've got the integral then going from 1 to 2 of x times f of x. So if I multiply the bracket by an x, we're going to get x cubed plus 2x squared and then minus 2x. And this is integrated then with respect to x. So we're going to get then 3 tenths, if I just set up a square bracket here. Then integrating x cubed, just add 1 to the power, that's x to the power 4, and divide by the new power. For 2x squared, it's going to be plus 2x cubed, add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power. And for minus 2x, that would be minus 2x squared, divided by 2. And square off that bracket there, and the limits go between 1 and 2. So it's just a question then of substituting the limits in. So therefore, we've got e of x equaling, we'll have 3 tenths out the front, and have a square bracket there. And then if we substitute 2 in here, we've got 2 to the power 4, which is 16, divided by 4. That's going to be 4. And then we've got 2 cubed is 8, times the 2 is 16, and then that's divided by 3. So you've got 16 thirds. And here we've got 2 squared is 4, times that 2. Well, those two twos actually cancel out. So we're just left with minus 4 there. OK? And then it's going to be minus, and if we put the 1 through, we're going to get a quarter here, then plus 2 thirds, and then minus 1. OK? And working this out, we're just going to have 3 tenths at the front, and that's going to be multiplied by, in fact, if you work that out on the calculator, it comes to 65 over 12. And cleaning this up, you'll end up with 13 eighths, okay?